Hi guys, so today we'll be installing our new X13 module on the motor. Um, this module has gone bad on my HVAC air handler and uh, the symptom I'm getting uh, for this one is uh, it's running constantly so we're going to replace this and also we're going to install one of these uh, protector module for X13. What this device does is it uh, prevents uh, damage to this component right there. So. This will run you about $30, $35, you know, and it's, it's well worth the investment. So the X13 protector, what this does is pretty much prevents any, uh, any fault that can damage uh, this component for your motor, uh, the X13 module. Um, and uh, this basically takes any uh, spikes, you know, any lightning strikes or like, you know, monitor the transient. Uh, so if you have some kind of uh, uh, voltage uh, regulation, this is basically like a protection device. So the best part about this device is if anything happens on your, like you know, if you have a surge or something, this device will go bad itself and prevents your module from going bad. So it won't burn up any components in this module. And the best part is you, all you have to do is just remove this device um, and connect it directly. So at least you'll have a running air condition and then you can just buy another one and then replace it. So for 30, 35 bucks, you know, it's it's a well worth investment that will protect your, uh, your motor. You can pick this up from Amazon or eBay. Um, I will leave a link down below for this uh, so it's easier for you guys to find. Uh, in my case, uh, I have a ream unit and we're going to be opening this and replacing this. So stay tuned. Um, I do have another video which talks in detail about how to replace this module. I'll leave the link down below in the link, you know, which kind of shows how to exactly re re reinstall this module. I also have a video on how to troubleshoot if your uh, this device has gone bad. You know, I'll, I'll leave a link below um, on that as well. So if you are looking to troubleshoot, if you really have a bad module or if you have a bad circuit board in, in there, there's a good video on that. So I'll leave the link below so you can check that out as well. But in this video, we're going to be focusing on how to install this protector. Okay, so I just removed this module from the old one <clears throat> since I was having issues uh, with the constant run. And uh, here's what I found is uh, this thermistor you can see it's uh, I see some short at the very bottom so it seems like this has gone bad but I have a replacement right here so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the new one in and we're gonna install this one okay so the first thing we need to do is unpack everything um, take the rubber band off and get all the wires ready and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to demonstrate this on this uh, old module that I took off. So basically on the old module you have these, uh, all sorry. so you have these connectors, right? These are the taps for the speed and uh, the way you tell these are the taps are these are numbered one through five. And this is where it's getting the signal for the motor to come on. But this right here is the power. And <clears throat> the best way to tell is uh, you can see at the bottom there are five taps and or on top there's two. And the way you tell the, it's powered, you can see it's a common line, uh, ground and neutral, right? So these are the four, and this is where, on top is where you connect your transient. And uh, now you're probably wondering which side you put on this side or that side, but basically if you really look at it, it has kind of like a curvy shape, and there's only one way you can put it in, is this way. And uh, <clears throat> if you try to put it this way, uh, if you're really forced into it, it will go, but, you can you can tell that it's not it's not aligned properly right so go with the curvature and they kind of made it kind of foolproof you know by giving that curve you know but this way it just slips right in and uh, the best way to tell is this is how your motor is gonna go inside and uh, there you go you can see how you see that curve right there on that blue connector and it just kind of goes into the curve and the lights are facing uh, what the lettering are right here so um, this is how we're going to install it and uh, I'm going to go ahead and install my uh, blower motor inside the air handler and we're going we're to go ahead and connect this guy all right so this is my harness that <clears throat> I'm going to be installing and uh, this is uh, after I remove the cover this is what my air handler looks like and the harness is gonna go right here. This is the ECM motor, make sure the main power is off. 
some of the units may have a breaker here you can turn it off i did the main one <clears throat> so i know there's no power coming in here make sure you double check yourself um i don't want you guys to get zapped so make sure everything is dead um what are we going to do is uh, we're going to take off these wires and just take a note of what color goes into where so we have the orange one on top and that's the very first come that comes out then we have the green which is the ground and then we have this one which is a black is the third one so i apologize i was out of frame uh, and then we have the brown one so I'm just gonna wiggle that one out so now we have uh, now the speed uh, tap wires remains there so the only ones that we're concerned about is the power which is the inside ones so these are the ones uh, that supply power to your motor and uh, these are the ones that you're gonna remove so uh, once you keep track of your wires all you have to do is um, take the wires that were supposed to go in here and this is what we're going to be putting in inwards like this so we um, have to bend this a little bit uh, and then um, I know for some of them it's going to be very hard because it's not a straight shot so you may have to bend this a little bit and it's completely okay to bend because they, these are these are just wires inside you know uh, it's not connected or soldered to the board right of wires oh, right. so it's completely okay for you to bend this and uh get this into the proper position because uh, i have a block right here so it's kind of hard for me to go straight in that's why i'm gonna have to bend this and i'll be careful you don't want to bend the circuit you only want to hold this and then bend this guy enough so you can get this in so i'm going to put the camera down and go ahead and install this and then once uh it's installed we can go ahead and uh, do the wiring okay so i finally got this installed uh, so you can see it's all the way pushed in uh, double check it from both sides from the bottom side and the top side because sometimes um, it's hard to see the actual angle so <clears throat> in my case it's nice and snug then I connected my top wire to the orange because that's what I had on top the second one was green so it's connected to the green now notice on the green one you also had a spare uh, green as well so what you need to do is uh, find a separate ground um, and then install it don't try to tap it onto the same one uh, it's always a good practice to find another place you know just in case if there's corrosion or something at least you have a second protection so this wire is basically as a second protective ground you can call it um, then the third one was black and it matched black on black uh, and the last one this blue uh, my last wire was um, the brown one so I connected this to the brown so <clears throat> that's it if you have some electrical tape I would recommend just connect just add some electrical tape uh, you don't want to remove that plastic on top of this uh, because that kind of helps prevent moisture if you have uh, some you know um, and uh, this will pretend uh, prevent the electric board from getting moisture into it so in my case everything is good i'm just gonna um get some tie wraps and wire tie these uh, wires together and uh that would that would do it so now in future if your air handler is not working what you can do the first thing you come out there you can disconnect this whole thing and connect the wires directly and if once you do that at least you will have uh saved your uh, the motor um, module okay so i just turned my unit on and let's see if it comes on and yep i can air it on and uh that tells me everything is working good so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this cover back and pack it up so guys hopefully this video will help you how to install this ecm if you have a tight space especially so hopefully you guys like the video please subscribe to my channel and like the video thank you